Alright guys, we're back with another video and I'm going to be explaining how to control your dream. I've made lots of videos about lucid dreaming and yeah, they're great, right? They teach you how to become lucid and become aware of the fact you're dreaming, but I've never really made a video to tell you guys how to actually control the dreams, you know, how to change the weather, for example, how to fly around and decide what to do and control the things that make the dream what it is. So here we go. The first thing you need to do to control your dreams is you need to start, so let, let me just, in a nutshell, I'm going to give you literally 30 to 60 seconds of the basics of what you need to do every day, and then after that, I'm going to explain in detail how to control your dreams. So don't click away from this video, stay with me till the end, because I'm going to be giving lots of tips here. This is stuff that will save you time. Okay, so the basics. You need to write your dreams down in a journal or a notepad every morning. If you don't remember any dreams, write down no dreams recalled. This will train your subconscious mind to get into the habit of remembering your dreams. You need to do reality checks every day. A reality check is where you test whether you're dreaming. So an example would be trying to push your finger through your palm at the same time as saying, are you, am I dreaming? Obviously in, a, in the waking world, the finger will never go through the palm. You'll always feel that resistance of your hand. Whereas in the dream, if you imagine that it will go through, the finger will go through your hand and you'll be able to say, okay, well, I must be dreaming because that wouldn't happen in waking life. Thirdly, you need to meditate every morning and every evening. This can be for three to five minutes. You don't have to spend long on this, but just make sure that you set a timer on your phone for five minutes. Count your breaths from one to 10. When you get to 10, go back to zero again. It's literally that simple. Just focus on your breathing, nothing else. Don't think about anything else. Just meditate like that five minutes a day in the morning and in the evening. Next, you need to constantly tell yourself that you can lucid dream. This can be done by either writing it on your whiteboard, like literally writing down, I can lucid dream on your whiteboard, or in a post-it note, or on your phone lock screen. Change some of your passwords to things that will affirm what you want to believe. For example, say your Facebook. Change your Facebook password to something like, I will lucid dream 6831212, or something like that. The numbers make it secure as a password, but the statement makes it an affirmation that you constantly repeat to yourself. When you repeat something enough to yourself, you believe it. And belief is important in order to lose a dream. You need to believe that you can do it before you can do it. Like in the Matrix, you need to believe that you can fly before you can fly. Okay, that's the basics, guys. That's how to become lucid. That's how to have lucid dreams. Now, once you're in a lucid dream, and again, please don't click away from this video yet because I'm gonna be explaining some important things. Once you're lucid, you have several choices of what you could do. Now, there are two main paths that you could take. One is to enlighten or work on yourself or improve yourself. The other is to have fun and experience things that will give you instant gratification. Things like sex, like flying, like fighting, like throwing things around, like taking your anger out on things. This is a fun sort of instant gratification route. The other route is things like practicing skills, like re reaffirming beliefs, talking to your subconscious mind, removing fears from your mind, things, th things that will improve you as a person. On the one hand, you've got things that will improve you as a person. On the other hand, you've got things that will just make you feel good. Now, the things that will make you feel good are fun, but they are very emotionally engaging. They're very exciting. They're very arousing to your senses. And therefore, the more you do that, the more likely it is that you'll wake up and not have as much control of the dream. For example, if you start having sex, you're not good, you're, it, almost immediately you're gonna wake up. But if you, if you go the other way, and if you focus on prolonging the lucid dream, on stabilizing the dream, meditating, doing a, more reality checks, making sure that you're grounded in the lucid dream, and then going deeper into it, this is where you're gonna experience the sort of dreams that you think about for months. This is where my lucid transcendence dream happened. I've made a video about this. This is where you experience the most growth as a dreamer and as a person. So you've got the fun side, practical, useful, spiritual side. So in order to control the dream, you can go either one of those two paths. You can learn to control the dream in either one of those two situations. So for both of those, to control the dream more, you need to focus on stabilizing it, grounding yourself, and maintaining awareness that it's a dream. Okay, so this means maintaining the, the knowledge in your head that you're in a lucid dream, you're not awake, and you can control it. This is quite important. If you lose lucidity, what it, what it would look like is, say if you're walking down the road, you're lucid and you're in control, and then something distracts you. It will almost always be a distraction. Something will happen to or around you 
right? Maybe some a car crashes into the building. And in that second, you lose lucidity because you suddenly think, oh, well, what's that car doing here? And you forget that you're in a dream. You forget that it's not real. And then you just drift along with wherever the dream wants to take you. So it's important that no matter what you experience or you know what you see, you always remind yourself constantly that you're dreaming. So the way this would look is you're walking down the road and you constantly you're looking down at your hands every few every few minutes or so, and whatever you see, you're just constantly having this internal conversation with your with yourself. This conversation with yourself, this internal dialogue, where you remind yourself that you're dreaming. Combine this with every every now and then in the dream, do a reality check, spin round on the spot, rub your hands together, do these things that will prolong the lucid dream, as well as talking to the dream itself. This is another way of controlling the dream. You can shout out to the dream itself things like improve lucidity, make the dream more clear, improve clarity, make the turn the brightness up. These commands will actually work and the dream will respond by answering these commands and by doing what you've asked, asked it to do. And for now that's all I really want to give you for control techniques because I want you to, I want you to go away and try this. I want you to genuinely go and have lucid dreams become lucid and then go down one of these two paths. Do the fun things and then do the practical things. And then as you're doing those things, focus on grounding yourself, on meditating in the dream, on reminding yourself constantly that you're dreaming and doing reality checks and just see what happens. I want you to see what happens, come back to this video and then leave a comment letting us know how you got on and what actually you experienced. I'm just trying to get you to actually take action on this. So go ahead and try this tonight see how you get on and then let me know in either today's comments or in tomorrow's video.